What it do, baby? Talk to me, spirit. I have already said with the ancestors, I am the voice of the voiceless. It's cold, so I got on a sweatshirt. I got on a big old sweatshirt because it's freaking cold. All right, I have already set with them. Let's start with the uh, the message. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please like, subscribe so you can keep up with the spiritual messages that I, I, I give out. If you automatically firing, uh, follow me, what's poppin', baby? Uh, today is the first, so make sure you have your sea salt to blow into your house to remove any negativity, to banish anything bad, and then follow it up with some sentiment to bring in wealth, prosperity, and protection. The full moon in Leo, it starts on February 5th, which is Sunday. Spiritualist comes alive on every full moon. So make sure you release. And then once you release, you fill up with things that you're so desiring. All right? Let's see what messages are going to come out for y'all today. I do not own rights to the music playing in the background. A lot of y'all are going to feel a frequency shift. The shift in the, the uh, energy of the world, the moon. Y'all going to feel it all over. Especially those that's... Um, that's resonating with Leo. I'm getting downloads a lot. So if I get tongue tied or things like that, that's the reason why. Because the energy shift has already changed. So a lot of y'all going to be vibrating on a different frequency. It's because your body is a full body of consciousness. Your soul is energy. So you're going to feel the frequency shift. Y'all going to see a lot of angel numbers. Angel numbers does not always mean messages from spirits and angels. That also means that you need to be uh, vibrating on a certain frequency. For example, if you see an 1111, 1111 should be the frequency that you should be meditating on and listening to, binarial beats. A lot of y'all are starting to change your mind about something that y'all thought y'all wanted. Y'all really, really thought that was y'all happiness and y'all turn around and finding out that that is not what you want a lot of y'all starting to see the violet color when you close your eyes this is a violent flame this is mean you're stepping into your spirituality you're getting closer to the spiritual realm all right a lot of y'all have the gift of auto writing auto writing means you talk to spirits and you tell them what is it that you need to know it could be for you or for somebody else and then all of a sudden you get a lot of messages in your ear and you start writing them some you're going to understand, some of them that, that you're not. So you need to start, um, you need to start writing it down. Okay? Sometimes it's for you and sometimes it's not. What other messages do you have for them, spirit? They want you to focus on you. They want you to meditate and focus on you. A lot of y'all, if y'all starting to see an animal all of a sudden and you are a shaman, that means you get ready to start your shamanic journey. They are searching for you. They are calling you. When it's time, you're going to send out your animal to that person that's going to be teaching you on your shamanic journey. So if you're in meditation and you're a shaman and you ask asking for guidance to take you on your, your shaman journey, healing, you will be sent to animals. Spirit wants y'all to start meditating. If you're sitting on the toilet, meditate. If you're in the shower, meditate. It can be three minutes, five minutes. It doesn't matter. Spirit wants y'all to start uh, meditating. This is going to help you with the frequency shift. This is going to help you with the violent flame. If all of y'all wants to know how to open up your third eye more, you need to uh, meditate in a candle flame and gaze at it and ask for them to show you something or a message. A lot of y'all are starting to get a message of warning. And sometimes those that's not a shaman and you're starting to see your spiritual animals, that's letting you know that's a warning. They're protecting you. There's something's about to happen. If you're starting to see your ancestors coming to your dreams, they is a message of warning. Also, Spirit wants you to know everything 
all those people that's in their victim mentality mode you think everything happens to you spirit is saying no it's not everything is not happening to you it's for you to make you stronger y'all need to get out of this victim mentality mode also when you go into meditation you need to connect with the light and call forth your spirit guides and guardian angels they have a message that's going to guide you okay a lot of y'all need to do shadow work in the mirror. A lot of some of y'all was born um March, I mean March 8th, February 8th, April 8th. Okay. Love is in the air for y'all. Y'all gonna be meeting somebody through a third party. Y'all gonna be meeting someone when y'all traveling. It could be going to the grocery store. It could be anywhere, but love is in the air. Love is calling your name. Also, spirit wants you to start falling in love with you as well. How are you going to appreciate someone giving you love when you don't know how to receive love yourself? A lot of y'all, y'all third eye is opening up more. Y'all starting to see more shadow people. A lot of y'all are connected to the onk. If you notice that you've been drawn to put an onk on you or you got an onk tattoo or you've been, it's calling you. You get ready to start your new life. You could be born in the month of April. You could be born on February 4th, January 4th. A lot of y'all home, y'all making, y'all not making your house a home, okay? They want you to start making where you lay your head at a home. If you cannot put up an altar, you have to understand you are the altar. You are the altar, all right? Things are ending for you. This new cycle is getting ready to start for you, okay? Pay attention to the symbols. Spirit is starting to show y'all symbols, all right? A lot of y'all going through a death and rebirth. You could be 36 years old, 36 break down to nine, y'all feeling hurt. Y'all that wounded warrior. It's because you're going through a death and rebirth at this time. Spirit is saying a lot of y'all need a talisman. A talisman can be a protective sigil or baby that you put on you. You need one for protection. You need one for money. You need one for this. You need to start doing it. A lot of y'all are connected to keys. So if you're drawn to skeleton keys, they asking you to get one. You could be 31 years old. You could be born on January 31st, March 31st, April, whatever. November 31st. All right, 31 breaks down to four. Four, four, four. A lot of y'all saying four, four, four. A lot of y'all need to vibrate on the frequency of four, four, four. Spirit is also saying a lot of y'all got jealousy around y'all, heavy jealousy. It's because you uh, processing, you progressing, you advancing, and, and you're doing the work and people's lazy and they wonder why you're not getting it and they are. It's because they refuse to do the work, okay? You have to be open to receiving. You have to do the work. You could be 23 years old, 23 breaks down to five. A lot of y'all are changing for the better and a, a lot of jealousy is around y'all, okay? A lot of y'all are connected to water. You could be on born February 18th, April 18th, March 18th, July 18th. I'm hearing you very connected to water. You need to connect with the water elements. You are a water bender, all right? A lot of y'all are getting presented with a rose. If you see yourself getting presented to the rose, you either have an SU or you have a Pomagetta that's presenting themselves to you. You have one in your court and they want to connect with you. All right? A lot of y'all spiritual journey is getting ready to freaking uh, begin. A lot of things is ending. This timeline jump that we're going in through, this spring equinox, y'all, you ain't going to a very powerful spiritual change that's coming towards y'all. You're going to be more saying no. You're going to be setting boundaries. You're going to start putting yourself first. Spirit want me to let you know that when you put yourself first, it's not selfish. If anybody rode, flew in an airplane, the stewardess always say, put your oxygen mask on before you uh, put it on somebody else. Spirit is saying, worry about you before you worry about someone else because they killing you, they suffocating you, they drowning you. They are not returning the loyalty. They not doing a fair energy exchange and they jealousy and that's why they doing it. Like why they doing it. 
but things are ending for you so you can do this new beginning. A lot of y'all gonna be divided, okay? A lot of people gonna be falling off because they are separating the bitter with the sweet, all right? You can get that recognition that you deserve. You can get that, uh, that blessing that you've been asking for. Peace, love, and light. I say, uh, 